everyone and welcome to another a thousand ways tutorial in this video I'll be showing you guys how to convert an image into a colorful sketch effect here in Photoshop in the previous video I showed you guys how to convert an image into a black and white sketch so if you haven't checked that video out please feel free to do so the link is in the description below and there's also another link that allows you guys to retrieve the image I've used here for this tutorial or you can use a personal image of your own. Either way is fine. So I'm going to open up my image in a new document by going to File, Open. And I'm just going to retrieve my image from my Pictures folder here. Once that's done, you see I have this nice, bright, and colorful Easter egg wallpaper here. And there's a bright light on this egg here which I don't want. And the reason why that is, is when we convert this image into a sketch effect, we don't want to lose any detail. So I'm going to bump up the contrast and bring down the brightness of this photo. Now, if you have a high contrast photo and you don't have any problem with lighting, feel free to skip the first step here. But I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness, and Contrast. Now I'm going to bring my brightness down to negative 50 and my contrast up to 80. And I think that's pretty good, so I'm going to press OK. Now once that's done, I'm going to duplicate my background layer by pressing Command J or for PC users, Control J. And I'm going to desaturate this layer by going to Image, Adjustments, Desaturate. Once that's done, you see that our image has been relieved of all color. And then I'm going to duplicate this layer by pressing Command J or Control J. And then I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Invert. As you can see, all our dark areas has been turned to light and our light areas to dark. Once that's done, we want to change our blend mode to Color Dodge. And as you can see, our document has been turned completely white. Once that's done, we'll go up to Filter, Other, Minimum. Now here you'll start to see what looks to be a black and white sketch effect here in the background, which is good. For my photo, I use three pixels as my radius. Now do not go any higher than five pixels, because once you do so, your photo will no longer look like a sketch and you'll get these big gray squares on your image which you see here in the background and you do not want that. So keep your radius at lower than 5. Now for your images I'm sure you'll, will, you will not go any higher than 3 but definitely do not go higher than 5. So I'm happy with what I have so I'm going to click OK. Once that's done, we want to merge all our layers into a new layer. And to do that, I'm going to hold the Option key. If you're a PC user, hold down your Alt key and go to Layer, Merge, Visible. And as you can see, a new layer has appeared. And we're going to change the blend mode on this to Multiply. And this basically just darken our strokes and add a bit more detail to the sketch. As you can see here where thread is, our detail has been heightened and we can see it more clearly. Now once that's done, we want to apply color to this sketch effect. So to do so, we go back to our background layer, which has color, and we're going to duplicate it by pressing Command J or Control J. And now we want to bring it to the top of our layers panel so that it's visible. And to do so, I'm going to press Shift Command right bracket or Shift Control right bracket for PC users. And as you can see, our layer has been brought to the top. Now, to apply the color to our effect, we'll simply change the blend mode from normal to color. And there you have it, a nice colored sketch. 